Yo, yo, what's good gamers? Welcome to another Urban Gameplay News video. In this video, as per usual, gotta keep you guys updated with the latest in the gaming industry, so definitely keep it locked. Big news for all the Shenmue 3 fans, and it seems that Shenmue 3 has been one of the hottest topics on these gaming news videos lately. It seems that the long-awaited Shenmue sequel is finally happening as Shenmue 3 Kickstarter ended at 6.3 million, which is the most ever for a video game in terms of kickstarting funds. To me what is awesome is that the $2 million goal has tripled and has resulted in a new record for a video game kickstarter. Shenmue has now surpassed the 5.5 million raised by Castlevania Symphony of the Night director Koji Igarashi in recent efforts with Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Since this phenomenal revelation, people have now been speculating over Shenmue 3's release date. But one thing I know for sure is usually when it comes to games that are funded by Kickstarters, the, usually the release date is inaccurate. But it seems that the developers are currently pushing for a December 2017 launch, which I feel is really cool and it gives the game enough time to mature and become something really great. And one thing also I know for sure is that if it does drop December 2017, that'll definitely be an awesome Christmas tree for all the fans. Yo, it seems that Mortal Kombat X is definitely not easing up when it comes to dropping these hot DLCs. Great news for all Mortal Kombat X fans, Tremor DLC gets an awesome new gameplay trailer and in addition, the release date for the DLC is now being revealed. Warner Brothers recently released a new trailer for their next Mortal Kombat X DLC character who goes by the name of Tremor. They also announced that he'll be available on July 21st for people who already own the Combat Pack DLC Pass or on July 28th if you don't own the Combat Pack DLC Pass. For those who are not aware, the last time Tremor actually appeared in a Mortal Kombat game was back in 2000 via Mortal Kombat Special Forces. This is the first time he'll be fully playable in a Mortal Kombat game. I will certainly be giving him a trial run and see if he lives up to the hype because I'm really a big fan of this trailer. He looks really cool and some of his moves look really hot. Definitely like some of the fatalities that this trailer showcases and I like his fighting style. I'm really happy that Mortal Kombat X is definitely delivering when it comes to the DLCs and it's a great look from Warner Brothers. Yo, as I said recently, Capcom is certainly generating some real great interest around Street Fighter 5 by dropping yet another video revealing a new character. The character goes by the name of Nakali and was revealed with a trailer shown during the competitive gaming event Evolution Championship Series. I'm not gonna lie, the character definitely looks a little weird with his crazy hairstyle, but it will be interesting to see whether Nakali actually becomes an elite fighter or whether he'll just be like another character like Hakan that not really that much people use. He looks a bit crazy and he looks a bit weird, but I would really like this character to definitely come through the ranks. I'm delighted that they are bringing new characters to the game as I was a little worried that Street Fighter 5 would just be a rehash of Street Fighter 4, just a little bit of a polished version. But anyway, peeps, this is definitely great news and I really gotta take time out and thank you you guys again for definitely supporting urban gameplay news videos and all the gaming videos that we actually place on this channel please hit the like button if you haven't done so before and if you also enjoy all these gaming contests and you've not subscribed to the channel definitely hit that subscribe button now until next video peace out peeps